Uh, my name is uh, Raja Kanapati. I come from a very uh, small and typical village from Tamil Nadu, a southern part of India. And the school that we had, that is the base of our knowledge. It's a very tiny little government school. Uh, this was the time we are talking about, we did not even have electricity at my house. That's where I used to study under the street lamps and the streets. I would uh, wake up three o'clock in the morning, would go to the same street lamp and study. So the only way for me to get out of that kind of a situation is to get myself very well educated. Growing up in a village like that, we never heard of Jesus Christ or Christianity. That village was our world and going to school was our dream. But it was the time I felt complete freedom in my life when I got out of school and moved to a city where I attended my college. From our family, nobody went to college. So I took that to be a very serious goal of my life and I started studying. So I used to study in a park. I would go to college and come back and I work part time. And during the night, that's where I will be. The fact is that the security guard he was kind enough to let me in and study there and even sleep there. And I later understood God puts some people on our way to prepare us for some day. In my second year college, we had a semester where we had to study the Bible. That inspired me so much. There was a day where I saw this two men walking down the street with white shirts and ties and they just came across that park and they looked at me. And then they simply said, would you be interested about learning more about the church? I said, yes, I've uh, learned something about the Gospel of Mark, but I would be interested to know about your church. I was 18 years old at the time when I entered into the church. put my first step and second step and I looked at the congregation and I felt entirely different. In that sacred and special place, I was considered a special person to be there at that moment. And I was seated in the corner, something that made me feel that uh, I belonged. And I absolutely understood that day and that moment, it was the divine power that was working in my life. When I started meeting with the missionaries, and that is when my questions just came out of me. And one way that you can firmly follow him and become his follower is by being baptized in the church and becoming the member of the church. And that's a hard decision. And then I finally decided that I will pray and see what would be, you know, my feelings again. I remember I knelt down in the same park. I thought, I'm going to leave behind everything else, my religion, relatives, everything else that I was taught by my parents. I'm going to leave behind everything just because I have felt the divine power of God in my life. And that is the place that I felt. This is the decision that I should make. Then I decided that I will be baptized and become a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It was a great feeling. I'm happy that I made the decision on that day. As I graduated from my college, which was my biggest goal and dream of my life, this letter came to me that I was given the sponsorship to go abroad for my higher studies. But by the same time, the deepest desire of my heart was to serve the Lord, preach the gospel, be a missionary. That was my goal. That is where again I felt the hand of the Lord worked in my life. I, I became very emotionally connected to the gospel of Jesus Christ and that meant everything to me. So that one day I will teach about Jesus Christ to somebody and I would you know, cheerfully share this with somebody. My belief in Jesus Christ has given me a new life. The life that is full of happiness, the life that is full of miracles, the life that is full of blessings.